2000 meter race and in fact the two Kenyans at the moment are heading for big personal bests here Candy to me is a great runner and him and Kip Limo have had this brilliant rivalry on the roads primarily but now extending it onto the track here at the Commonwealth Games and they're just settling in behind I don't think Kip Limo will really mind this it's wind is certainly I mean it's breezy out there but it's certainly dropped from where it was earlier on today uh, it's nice conditions you can see his eyes focused ahead on the task what is difficult here in the stadium is that the big screen is actually quite small so if he wants to have a look up and judge or see whether he is managing to, to drop candy there uh, he's gonna probably need binoculars or just to look over his shoulder I think you'll just try and stick to the task here because we're coming up to the last two and a half laps the last thousand meters the last two laps have both been running 61 seconds this thousand's going to be about 233 234 something like that there you go 234 that's incredibly quick with still a thousand meters left to run candy ran the fourth fastest ever 10,000 meters on the roads in Germany earlier on this year and now he's showing you can do it on the track because this time round they've just got two to go Kip Limo and Candy two great rivals are well clear now oh it's a Benio who's there sorry excuse me my apologies thank you Paula what do you reckon now then that's a 60 keep turning the screw here absolutely incredible from Kip Limo well, I said Avenue might have been disappointed with that run in Eugene, and he's certainly racing a lot better here tonight, and he's sticking to Jacob Kiplimo like glue there, and everything that Kiplimo is throwing down to try and shake him off, it's not having any impact whatsoever so far, and this will start now to nag away in Kiplimo's brain and trying to work out what can he do. Does he need to start tacking it back a little bit and save something for that final lap? Well, Kip Limo wants to emulate Czech to guy. He trains with them all of the time and says he's my hero, really. But this is his chance to step out of the great man's shadow. But Abeno's not giving this up at all. They've got 500 metres to go. It will be a championship record, that's for sure. And it's Czech to guy who holds it. And for the first time, Abeno tries to get to the front. Has Kip Limo got anything left? 400 to go. Is this a feint from Kip Limo? He looks over his shoulder. That's not a good sign, but he is able to respond so far. So does he have something else left to key off Ibenio once he's got this back straight out of the way? A look behind from Kip Limo. There's nothing behind him. It's all happening ahead of him. Ibenio's trying his best here. His father died when he was younger, raised by his mum and his grandma. And he said, I would so love to win a gold medal for Kenya. Well, this is his chance, but Kip Limo is still there. It's Kenya versus Uganda. And it's Kip Limo who just might have enough here. He takes one last look behind into the home straight, and it's going to be Kip Limo. Five metres, becomes six, seven, eight. He continues to go away. Jacob Kip Limo, his brother, won the marathon earlier in the week. He's now going to take the gold medal in the 10,000 metres. He's the Commonwealth champion in a new championship record. A great 10,000 metre performance. A personal best for Abenio. All smiles, the silver medal for him to go with his African championship silver medal. And Candy, who's followed Kip Limo home on many occasions, has to do it again here. I think Candy will be rewarded with a personal best for the bronze medal. But what a night, what a day for Kip Limo. And there'll be big cheers for Andy Butcher. It's a pretty solid run for him. He's going to be well under 28 minutes and he gave it his all. He hung in there as long as he could. A little wave to the crowd.